Hey y'all, I need to dry some flowers and some leaves. And this is the dictionary that I used last year. And I'll show you some of the things that I've dried. These I just picked up locally out of my yard, um, walking down the road. I put these in here to dry. I did dry flowers in here too. Um, but I think most of those are towards the back. It's a very simple to do. And I needed to do two this year because I wanted to share one with my daughter. So I went to the resale shop and purchased two dictionaries for a dollar a piece. Very thick dictionaries. And I have the flowers and leaves and things left over from the valentine's bouquets that she and i both received and she wanted me to dry them so i'm going to show you how i layer up these dictionaries with the flowers now you can either start in the front or in the back i'm going to start in the back about eight or ten pages from the back cover and then i'm just going to start picking out flowers and leaves and just laying them on the pages. But when you're doing this, you can't always get them to lay the way you want them to. Um, some of them are just gonna do what they want and when you close the dictionary, they'll do something different anyway. So when you reopen this dictionary weeks or months later, they may look completely different. Sometimes they will dye the dictionary pages, which is a bonus. Sometimes they won't. I haven't been doing this for enough years to know exactly which ones um, are going to dye the papers, which how they're going to react. So um, this takes quite a long time. I don't dry my flowers in the microwave. I'm always afraid that I'm going to burn them and discolor them. And I've gotten good results using the dictionaries so far. So I flipped about four or five pages in and started another layer. Now I will say it seems to be easier to close the dictionary when you're done. If you have super dimensional flowers to put more pages in between each layer of flowers and if you're doing something flat like leaves you don't necessarily need you know five six eight pages in between each layer I am going to share some little tips and tricks that I've learned doing this. I'm going to start putting these more dimensional flowers in here. And it is going to cause ripples. It is going to cause um, big bubbles in the dictionary. And there are ways to deal with this. As you can see, I slid that other dictionary underneath this one just to help hold up the back while I was working in it. Otherwise, things will start sliding out onto the table um, when you're first beginning this project. That is a good thing to do. But I'll layer these thicker pieces up. And they will cause some buckling. I'm also pinching off some of those uh, thicker stems just because I'm... I just don't want to mess with them. There are ways um, of getting them to lay flat. It just takes time. It takes time um, for them sitting in the dictionary to cause them to lay flat.
Now you can see I put quite a few pages down after that layer, but that's because those flowers are so thick and you can see how much of a, a ripple it made in the dictionary when I put those big dimensional flowers in there. There's some pretty big puffs in there now. Um, these hydrangeas, I'm gonna take some apart and I'm gonna speed this video up as I'm doing uh, the rest of these. Now I've gotten through enough of the dictionary that I took that bottom dictionary out from underneath and I'm going to hold this other side up to keep the parts that I'm working on flatter. So again, so things don't slide out of the pages and onto my desk while I'm working in it. Again, brought that other dictionary back in and used it to prop up the other side and here I'm showing how thick this dictionary starts to get as I'm working in it. Now I'm going to start working on the other side of the dictionary and begin layering on that side. Now I'm going to hold the whole dictionary up and just start sliding pieces in wherever I can fit them. Now eventually as these dry and get flatter, um, I will start separating some of this into the other dictionary. But for now, I'm going to use this dictionary as a weight and my other dictionary that I have already dried from last year as another weight. And I'll just keep this weight on top of this bottom dictionary until these get pressed and dried. Thanks for watching y'all.